hello my wonderful people i hope you're all doing great welcome back to my channel so with agnes i'm agnes so today i'm going to make a draw string sleeve circle dress so i have here this beautiful fabric it's a crepe fabric it's three yards so let's start so i folded my fabric this is the the front panel and this is the back i have your one inch for zipper so it's we are going to cut together the shoulder and the sleeve the shoulder is 17 inches divided by 2 is 8.5 then uh, the rest will be for the sleeve so i have 28 inches on fold lengthwise width wise sorry 28 inches that is the all the remaining will be for the sleeve then for the front panel half of the the half length is 17 inches for the front panel then i have one inch this is the hopper the the bottom will be a circle it will be flared so this is 18 then the back is 16 plus 1 inch that is 17 so let's start half of the arm hole the arm hole is 23 half of it is 11.5 inches then this for the waist i'll put the waist measurement down here so I'll mark 11.5 right through the draw line. <coughs> so. The neck width is 8 inches. Neck width, I'll make it 8. All measurements start from this 1 inch. 8 inches so that it will fall at the shoulder. Then the neck depth will be 1 inch for both the back and the front so I'll connect it to the end of the sleeve I'll mark the shoulder slant one inch Then I'll go up by half inch and I'll connect that. Connect to the shoulder measure to the neck width. The neck, the sleeve opening will be this, the half of the ammo. I will use all of it because we have to give it opening at the tip of the, the top of the sleeve to put this strip. I will make it one inch. A bust, I will put a bust measurement on this line, which is the half of the ammo line. I will put the bust measurement here. 
What's of the boss? The boss is 43. What's of it? Is 10 points. So far, that is 10 three quarter. 10 three quarter. Plus one inch for sewing. Our waist is 40 inches. Quarter of it is 10 inches. One inch for for that, then one inch for sewing. The that will be only on the at the front panel to make this align them properly. <laughs> so I'll connect this. Then I will go in here by one inch. I'll come down by two inches. Then I'll connect it like this. Connect it like this. Then I'll cut. Okay, before cutting to the zipper area, this back I'll go in by one inch. Then I'll I'll come up by one inch, then I'll go in here by half inch. So I'll connect this one inch to the tip of the, to where the, the back panel stop, to the waistline. Then this half inch, I'll connect it, I'll slant it like this, connect. It is for the for the zipper area not to be bulky. So I'll just go in here and cut this out. This I'll cut it out from here. Lines. Got to change the scissors.
So this is what it does. I cut out this one inch in the back. I connect it like this. Cut it out. This is the back, this is the front, the that will be only on the front panel. Our boss pan is 10 inches. Half of it is 5. Was half, that is 5.5. .5. on both ends. Okay. The sleeve opening, I said it's the sleeve length 28 inches. one inch it's enough so this is the back as well and this end okay let's see it so I'll cut out the flare now that is the bottom so for the flares, that is the bottom part, the waist is 48, I included the seam allowances because you know we added um, allowance for ease at the upper, so I included it all, so I have 48, it's an after curl, so I divided it by 3.142, I have 15.2 inches, the length is 30 
30 inches so 30 plus 15.27 is 45.27 so the radius is 15.27 so I'll mark 15.2 I'll mark it round Now mark the length. It's 30, so I'll mark the length. So from this top to the length is 45.2 inches. I'll add one inch to my lines. Come up here by half inch. I left this for one inch for the zipper. So I'll cut it out from this half inch. So I've cut it out. Put it out. I'll cut this end, I'll open it, which will be the center back. So I'll separate the back from the front. I've separated it. This is the front. These are the back. I have two, two for the back. So this is the upper. I will join the yoke. I'll show the yoke first. The sorry the <laughs> I was sorry that <laughs> I love yoke on this on this dress. I'll show the that. I'll show with the that. Let me sew the dart first. So after sewing the dart, I will attach the upper to the lower, that is the upper bodies to the, to the flares for both the back and the front. I use half inch, then I will turn the neckline for both the back and the front with bias. Then I will show you guys. So I'm sewing the dart. I already put that on the front panel. Then I've attached the upper to the lower. The flares. This is the front panel. This is the back. I also attach the upper to the lower. And the zipper allowance of my units neatly. So 
So I'll fix my zipper. After fixing the zipper, I will attach the join the shoulders. I'll join the shoulders. Then the I'll turn the neckline with the bias tape. So I've sewn the zipper. I'm coming down by two inches. I started sewing it here. Fix it from this end. This is the neckline. I've also make the the loop for the Now the steps is four. I've already fixed the the two on the one sleeve. After that is after sewing the and, and joining after joining the shoulders. After joining the shoulders, I made this one. So this is it. Remember the the one inch I left at the tip of the the shoulders. So I've sewn it for the, the the strips and I've also M the the sleeve I left this opening to put this other two I've already put these two I've already put them it's the draw string then I I attach it here. This is how it will go. Then you tie it. So I'll fix this. I will fix this other one. This other two. I will use pin as I did for this one. Attach like this. You know, fix it in up to this this end, and I'll tack it as well, like I did for this other one. After that, I will turn the shoulders now. I will turn the the neckline with the bias. I've already cut out my bias. I'll turn the neckline after I've attached the remaining strips inside the loop. After turning the, the neckline, then I'll join the sides now. I'll join the sides with the measurements, with the body's measurements. After joining the sides, I will end the bottom. And our dress will be ready. So I'll fix the sleeves on the sleeves, both of them. Another one. And I've turned the neckline with the bias. So I need to be this. I've also attached the join together the sides I'll join both sides together and I'll iron it I've also in the bottom this is the bottom I've ironed them neatly so the our beautiful dress is finished a drawstring sleeve with flare dress it's finished Thank you so so much my wonderful people for clicking and for watching too please like and please subscribe to my channel god bless you as you do that see you in my next tutorial love you boku boku bye bye